Good morning. It's time for High Five on Tuesday. This is the Double Blessed Day. Uh, I have something kind of serious to share with you today. You know, I've been going over the kings of the divided kingdom. Holy Spirit uh, directed me to do that last year. It wasn't something I was real excited about. But once I got into it, I realized that history merely repeats itself. And once we start in the um, um, Ahab and Jezebel, once you start into that dynasty, all of a sudden it starts paralleling with uh, a current president, not, not exactly the one right now, but goes back. If you've ever read Jonathan Kahn's book on the, prod, uh, the paradigm, uh, that is what the Lord showed him and everything in there I concur with, absolutely. Well, there's a, a new book that came out and, you know, I do read the Bible, <laughs> but when God directs me to a book, it's for a certain, it's for a certain uh, time. And uh, I got a hold of this book uh, from my friend Nancy from, uh, from, she was in Tennessee, now she's in Alabama. Uh, but it's, uh, it's uh, Jezebel's Revenge and Annihilating annihilating the spirit of Athaliah. Now, if you think that Jezebel was tough, Athaliah is her daughter. And actually she married into the, uh, the lineage of, of David's lineage on Judah's side of the divided kingdom. And she was worse, 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 worse than her mother Jezebel. And she even killed every single one of her grandchildren. She, she came in and she absorbed her authority. She, uh, she was not put into, but she took the position. And there, there's a word in there uh, when she arose. That means she came in with force and she took it. She killed everyone that, that every single person in that lineage and even her own grandchildren, because the king before her, as as Isaiah, uh, he had he was he had children, and she even killed his children, her own grandchildren. She was absolutely horrible. Well, you know, there's a spirit. Of, it's not like Jezebel and Athaliah are still alive today, but the spirit behind them is still working. We know that into, um, into the book of Revelation, the spirit of Jezebel is still working with people. And, and right now, the, the spirit Athaliah has been rising up. And I've noticed it ever since, um, ever since um, uh, the election, all of a sudden. And you know, one thing about the, the spirit of Athaliah it, it uh, tag teams with the Python spirit and the spirit of Jezebel. Now, this is written by uh, Jennifer LeClaire. Again, this is Jezebel's Revenge, um, Jennifer LeClaire. And it's like, once Jezebel is dead, then uh, Athaliah comes and finishes everything that Jezebel wanted to do, and she's much, much, much worse. Well, uh, she was... I'm, I'm not going to get so much into this book, but let me tell you one thing that happened to Jennifer, how she realized it. And she had been teaching about Jezebel. And uh, she had come back from Nigeria in the middle of her teaching. Uh, she she had a, suddenly, in the middle of teaching, I felt like I best describe as a python spirit wrapping around my chest. And she, she started rebuking it in the name of Jesus, with the blood of Jesus. And... Uh, and um, she had been teaching actually on the marine spirits, which is interesting. Well, she was released from that, but then uh, a couple days later, she went home and she took uh, a couple of steps. She said, one step, two step, th on, on the third step, she felt something wrap around her ankle like a lasso and pull tightly. I could hear the sound like my entire p foot went in, um, popping sound and my entire foot went numb instantly my ankle was frozen and she said the pain was excruciating I had bruises not just on my ankle but higher up my calf it literally looked like a thick lasso wrapped around my leg twice and squeezed just as a sensation I had in the spirit when the injury occurred the swelling refused to go down for weeks doctor said it might never go all the way back down 
Now this is this is a spirit. This is a really true spirit. I, I you know, and I'm not going to go more into that except to tell you in the middle of the night last night, I my feet hurt so bad, my leg hurt so bad. I had just cramping, undescribable cramping, and I was going to get up and you know take aspirin and stuff like that. But then I thought I'm going to take the word. I'm going to take the blood. And so I took communion, I went into my study, I sat there and I worshiped, I called Jesus my healer, my provider, my protector, uh, my, my redeemer, I, I just worshiped and then I took communion and then I went back to bed, slept soundly, no more pain. There is spiritual attack that is going right now. If you don't believe that the spirit world is real, You need to believe it. It's very real.